Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Galaxy Tab S3. It's just a brief walkthrough for the setup process if you need it. Now overall, with this one, you're just going to start with picking your language or going to accessibility if you would prefer to have that. We're going to go to start, and then from here you're going to uh, choose your Wi-Fi connection. It's always important to start up your device in Wi-Fi, just simply so you can port in everything you have from your old tablet. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to connect it. So I will do that. And that uh, now that it is connected, go next. And from here, you're going to agree to be able to use this. And it's going to see if there's any software updates. If there are any updates, it'll download them now, just so you don't have to download them later and have maybe a glitch or an issue that was then corrected. From here, we're going to sign into our Gmail account. If you do not have a Gmail account, you will have to create one simply for the fact that with Gmail, it's the way you're going to be able to download apps and use this product. So just note that that you do have to get one, so you might as well uh, sign up for one now, just in order to have it, because if you don't, uh, then again, you won't be able to do anything from here. And these are all Google services, so you decide if you uh, want to have it or not. Overall, with this, you're going to have uh, the ability to have a uh, backup your device automatically, have Google locations, so it can tell you where you are and if you want something to eat around here, things like that kind of stuff. Uh, improve your location uh, via Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning, even when the settings are off. I actually turn this one off um, overall just because you don't need Bluetooth scanning to go on, so that will save you battery too, so I turn off Bluetooth scanning. Um, that's a big one for me. Overall though, everything else is gonna be fine. And then from the next step, you're probably going to get asked if you want to uh, port over something from a new device. So I will actually do it from my Tab S2. That way it's a seamless transition from my old tablet to my new tablet. Um, now, if you don't have your old device here, um, this will basically download all the apps from it. Um, and I have a lot of apps from that uh, tablet. So it's going to port over everything. So I will hit restore and that's what it's going to do. Now this will take some time uh, for it to do that, so just know that because it's, for me, over 100 apps, uh, for you if it's 20 or 30 or 50, it's going to take far less time. For me, it'll probably take a good hour uh, for that many apps, especially because some of them are games which are bigger files. Uh, you can now set up your fingerprint or security. The fingerprint scanner is on the bottom of the screen. Overall though, um, I will not set that up for right now. Skip anyway. And now it's completing the setup. Um, after this portion, I'm guessing it's going to ask you for your Samsung account. Now people always ask me what's the difference between a Samsung account and a Google account. They're for different services. Both companies uh, are involved in the making of this tablet. Google does most of the software, Samsung does most of the hardware. So for a Samsung account, you get these benefits. You back up things on a Samsung cloud, which uh, is a bit more of the nits and um, the more important parts of your device. I definitely recommend it for a ta uh, for a phone uh, because of the fact that it backs up your text messages. So that's really important. A lot of people, Samsung Cloud does do that. It also backs up uh, different things uh, that you have on there. I can't remember everything on there. It does, yes, wallpapers. It does your desktop display. So if you have one from another one, it'll actually keep your desktop the way you had it. So your main screens the way you had it. Samsung Plus allows you to get uh, live tech support. So you actually have uh, free access to instant chat and video chat with uh, Samsung technicians. So that's probably the biggest thing for that. Galaxy apps give you some free things. So uh, for instance, the uh, Office version on the Galaxy App Store is free and allows you to do more than the Google Play Store version. And Find My Mobile is something that you have with Google as well, but you also can have it with here. And that's just find your device if it's lost or stolen and uh, wipe it if need be. So uh, we will sign up for that later. Um, so we have that. 
I do have one, so I'm going to sign it up. I just don't want to take more time from that. Secure your stuff. Uh, so you can actually uh, have a secure folder on this device. Secure folder allows you to put things that you might not want anyone else to see. Photos, um, files, anything like that. And they have to use a fingerprint to uh, get in there. Uh, set screen layout. So this is going to determine how big you want your screen or how small you want it. So if you want the icons bigger, if you want them smaller, and if you want the font bigger, or if you want the font smaller. So um, this is a good scale for me. So I will just keep it as is. And yes, I agree to uh, location for weather forecast. And there we go. So it's already brought over my uh, background in there. So I like that. So yeah, guys, this is uh, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3. We'll be doing a lot of uh, coverage on this. And overall, I just like the design and I'm very curious to see how much I like it. And uh, make sure to check out our other videos on how to speed it up, how to get rid of this, um, and a lot of other things on this tablet. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what you want to see from this tablet. Uh, we might get the new iPad to compare it side by side to. And I will show you how to speed it up, how to save battery life, and just to get the best out of it. Alright guys, thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.